In this video, we're going to talk about the value of your pictures. That means the metadata. It's a very important part and aspect of your workflow and your pictures. In this camera, in the Z9, you can actually attach to your pictures a number of, of metadata alongside with EXIF, of course, which are taken every time we shoot a picture. You can add a copyright, a legend, uh, IPTC and GPS data. That's all you need actually in one place and you won't need any external device to, to uh, supply to your camera actually. So now we're gonna have a look in the menus where actually it's stored and how to activate it. So first, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down to the copyright. Copyright information is the most important of all of them. If you would need just one, it's the copyright. That's the, the, the way to make sure that your pictures, the pictures you made are actually yours. So now you go down in a setup menu to copyright information. And here, actually, you have to attach your uh, information. So for instance, in artists, I would, I would just put my name, so just very quickly. As you can see, if I just detach the screen of the Z9, it's very convenient. You can even use it like, like a smartphone, for instance. And I would just type in here, Ludo Dream. Okay. And then the copyright can be your company or something else. But for instance, I would just put like Dream Pictures. And you see it's quite convenient, it's easy to type in, much easier than the pad itself. And that's it. Now it's not stored yet, as you can see at the top of this menu, you have to attach the copyright information. As soon as you do that, it switch on every single picture you make in the workflow are actually attached with your name and your, your copyrights. So now that that's done and we go back in the menu. You can also add an image comments here and just input your, your comments and attach it. It doesn't have to be your name. You can put anything you want to describe your pictures. Now we're gonna go down to IPTC because IPTC is, I think, the most important uh, to, 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 to take care of, actually, for your pictures. You have two different aspects of it. First is to edit your bank of IPTC data and then the attachments you put on every single picture. And here we're gonna start with the bank. It's gonna be in the edit and save menu. I created very quickly, actually, uh, two of the IPTC fields. You can have a number of IPTC uh, presets. So the base is whatever you do, basically you will have always the same, uh, the, the, the same IPTC set of information. I could rename it here and put something in that base. I have chosen that. And then I just go to the edits of the IPTC information. And you might see that every single picture I shoot will have, for instance, my credit, again, also the country, here, and, and that's it. And I can do something else, for instance, just to an event ID and change it and say, it would be like my code in any kind of database in the world, and I would say it would be like some, this kind of thing, and that would be a unique code that I have. I can change it, but that would be my base code, for instance. And you can see other other type of information that can be attached to your pictures. Now that is done, the, the base information, I can actually copy this one and alter it with the specific information. For instance, I want to shoot my pictures in Paris and I would have a Paris assignment today, for instance. So I would copy the base one here, copy, and use the new available slots and type on used. And I would rename it, not base, but for instance, Paris. Easy, it, it contains exactly the same set of information as the base, now I'm gonna edit it actually. So I go there, edit in, the IPTC information, and I, for instance, I just go to city and I add Paris. Here, caps, and then lowercase, Paris. Very easy, as you can see. So I just focused on location, here I just have country, state and, state and city. We can go actually much, much deeper in, in there and we'll see with GPS information. But before that, we're gonna attach the right IPTC set to my pictures. The way to do it is actually to go back and go to auto embed during shooting. That means every time I'm gonna shoot, I will have the right IPTC set attached automatically to my pictures and not after in post-processing. 
that's where I'm choosing it. If it's off, no IPTC information. Of course, today I'm shooting in Paris, so I will just click on it, and you see P3 IPTC is automatically, automatically attached to the pictures. And that's it. No more. IPTC is done. Copyrights, image comments, and IPTC. The last part, actually, I want to talk about is today is the GPS information, and that's location data. Again, doesn't need any kind of external device. GPS uh, receiver actually is in the top of the camera here, and it receives the signals uh, from outside. Here, I'm indoors, so I acquire the signal ex uh, uh, outdoors and, and get back in. How does it work, actually? You just have to switch on the record, the, the location data, and then, for instance, I can show you, here is my actual position. You can fake it, of course. This one is latitude, longitude, attitude, and universal time. This is recorded now every time I'm taking a picture. It's very important to know that you have the possibility to attach or not the GPS information in this setting because sometimes you don't want to have your pictures located. Now, any, there are any other, uh, other settings, but actually this important part is a journal. You, have, you can create a log. A log that means every time, uh, for instance, you choose an interval time, every minute you can record your position for any reason because you want to record your track and you can do it this way. And also you can record it for up to six, six hours to 24 hours. I would do for 12, for instance, and just start this way, and you can see actually in green at the, the bottom of the screen that actually the log is in progress. So alongside with your pictures, every picture will be uh, attached with GPS data, but also we have a file separate where actually you can see the track you've, you've taken along the way for 12 hours. So that's it for GPS data, and that's, that's the way to record them inside every single picture. So, in this video, you've seen actually that we can record alongside the EXIF data, we can record the copyrights, the image comments, the IPTC specified for each of your pictures and the event you are taking care of, and also the GPS data. This set of data is the value of your pictures. So it's really absolutely key to manage them properly. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope this, all this information will help you value your pictures.